world is a delicate place that needs to be taken care of. 75% of the Earth is covered with water. 97% of Earth's water is in the oceans. Only 3% of the Earth's water can be used as drinking water. 75% of the world's fresh water is frozen in the polar ice caps. Water makes up around two-thirds of the Earth's surface. And yet many people have a hard time naming rivers. Please name three rivers in Texas. Three rivers, uh, the Rio Grande, Sorry, I can't tell you that. <laughs> Bad dream. Rio Grande. <laughs> Red River. <laughs> Bredos River. Three Texas rivers. You got the Natchez. Okay. You got the. Um, San, uh, San, 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 San Jacinto. And you got the one that we're working on right now, which is by that lake. Ah, uh, okay, I fail. Sure, the um, New Nicomo, mm. the uh, Rio, and the Rio Grande, Nicomo, and um, the Red River. Red River, yeah. According to our surveys, 44% of people think waterways are essential for the Earth. Sheldon Lake State Park is dedicated to the restoration of a natural ecosystem. This 1,230-acre reservoir covers about 800 acres of open water and 400 acres of marsh and swamplands. Although the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department manages Sheldon Lake as a waterfowl refuge and public fishing site, the reservoir has served many purposes since its creation during World War II. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department stocks the reservoir with many species including catfish, crappie, bluegill, largemouth bass, and sunfish. The fishing is particularly good at the north end of the lake. Sheldon Lake's protected status also allows waterfowl and other bird species to flourish in and around the lake. The lake unit is home to oak, pine, cypress, sycamore, several types of water lilies, deer, raccoon, opossum, rabbit, alligator, and 20 species of waterfowl. Bald eagles and osprey appear in the winter. Heron and egret rookeries are found in March through June. As a group, we have implemented methods to try and preserve the wetlands in our area. Our first project was based on the refurbishing of Sheldon Lakes. On 12 different occasions, our student body visited the park and planted over 15,000 plants, western gamma, switchgrass, and water crocus. Each grade level was assigned a specific day to participate in what has become our action project. Some students were diggers while others were planters or cutters. The strenuous work was difficult yet rewarding after the park ranger announced his gratitude. After educating our student body, we sought to encourage the community to follow suit through informative flyers. Our team distributed flyers in various areas and briefly spoke about our project. Our second action project has been more of a success than the first because it promoted awareness among the community. Water has no taste, no color, no odor. It cannot be defined art, relished while ever mysterious. Not necessary to life, but rather life itself. It fills us with gratification that exceeds the delight of senses. This quote was said by Antoni de Saint-Exupéry.